Live TV can be scary when something goes wrong. The ratings go up, but so does the fear. Number 12. A news reporter hears a train approach and gets an idea for a shot. Here. Oh, let's go. Train. The idea is to have her walk into the shot and let the train pass by for dramatic effect. The only problem is she can't look over her shoulder because it'll ruin the shot. She has to guess how close the train is, and her estimations are a little off. 20 minutes after midnight. She manages to take two steps and is barely off the tracks when the train flies by. This could have ended a lot differently, and there would have been absolutely nothing for the cameraman to do to stop it. Number 11. This news reporter thinks he has an easy day reporting live from a bug exhibit at the Museum of National History. He and his crew decide to make the story more interesting to look at by putting a large exotic moth on his vest before they begin the broadcast, kind of as a joke. It's called an African moon moth, and as they learn more about them, the bug crawls up his neck and cozies up next to his ear. The news reporter can't freak out and plays it cool. I notice the moth is doing a weird fanning motion with its wings that it wasn't doing before. That's when he feels a sensation in his ear that he mistakes for teeth. <laughs> oh, it bit me, no it didn't. <laughs> but the reality is so much worse. As he was leaving, a museum worker noticed two tiny white sacks embedded in his ear, no doubt deposited there from the African moon moth. They already look big in my opinion. I wonder if they grow into the skin and leach nutrients. I'm glad the reporter found the eggs before they hatched and possibly crawled deeper inside. Number 10. The Pope is making one of his famous balcony appearances. He looks completely normal while waving to an adoring crowd below. I see him at the window in a dark room behind him, completely three-dimensional, right? Well, explain this. Dude, is it not? He's gone. Oh my. When played frame by frame, it kind of seems like a hologram. He doesn't go deeper into the room, he just turns off. This was broadcast on live news. And I wouldn't have been able to tell the difference unless someone pointed it out to me. I don't know if they are doing this for security purposes or what, but it's creepy. I can only wonder how many other times we have been looking at not a famous person, but rather their perfect duplicate image. Number 9. A woman is reporting on the edge of the forest when a mysterious animal crosses her path and actually turns her way at 23 seconds. She thinks that it's a dog at first, but grows less certain as she gets a better look at its face, which we never see. But what do you think it is? I think it's a dog. I'm not sure. Um, but uh, anyway. <laughs> From this angle, it kind of looks like the tail and ears of a juvenile mountain lion. Until you look at the paws, which are too small for a wild cat. So it probably was a coyote. Because if this was a domesticated animal, then it should have been more friendly, especially if it was lost. This one just walks right by her without even wagging its tail. A wild animal probably wouldn't approach a person at all, unless it was really out of it. So I guess rabies isn't out of the question. Number 8. Debbie Merrick goes on live television to do an interview about a doll that is so possessed, she doesn't even want to look at it. She has only had it for a month and already mysterious things have been happening. Small scratches on her family and friends after they visit her home. As Debbie describes the story behind how she acquired the doll, something bizarre happens. You know, hands up, I brought them to reset. That chair is beginning oh, to rock. Rocking. Look at that. Who's doing that? Stop it. Who's doing that? <laughs> mm. yeah. Everyone noticed the chair is moving on its own, almost as if the doll is rocking back and forth. Pleased at the attention she is receiving. It could be a publicity stunt, but I don't see how. The doll is pretty much in the middle of the floor with no room for anyone to move the chair without immediately being noticed. The doll itself looks really creepy. 
and I don't like how one pupil appears larger than the other. I've never seen that before and hopefully I never see it again. Number 7. A weatherman in Mississippi ironically becomes affected by his own forecast when high winds shut off the power to his studio. Now they are on a backup generator and he has to manually turn on his weather monitoring equipment to regain control of the situation. His weather monitor reconnects just in time to show him a massive tornado that's heading their way. Tower camp. There's a damaging tornado on the ground right now. He tries to keep his composure, but as a meteorologist, he knows the severity of the storm and that they might not pull through. The significant tornado touchdown. Basement now. Basement now. Now. When the weatherman is this worried, you know you're in trouble. Everyone got to safety in time. But sadly, 30 people lost their lives from this tornado, so his panic was not an overreaction. Number 6. On February 3rd, 2020, this large, round object appears on live television. Hovering over Chilka, Peru, a crowd has gathered to watch and soon they figure out how to interact. Every time they shine these green lights at it, the object seems to respond. It starts off low over the water, so I wasn't sure if it was someone with a spotlight or not. But soon it's high up in the air, way too high to be a boat. When the sky lights up at 16 minutes and 39 seconds, it looks like a big blast. That's not a flashlight. And get this. It makes no sound the whole time. I really hope that this is just a high-powered light and not an extraterrestrial encounter that leaves them with long-term effects. If this is fake, tell me how you think it was pulled off. Number 5. Emergency workers gather outside of a room where something terrible has happened and lives were possibly lost. As the camera zooms in, it catches a scary looking figure peering back at them. Its neck twisted so many times that it has become long and thin. The closer they zoom in, the more facial detail I see. Its face is half shrouded in darkness, but I can see the eyes, and it has tall black hair. Or maybe it's simply a crack in the wall. Number 4. This live broadcast shows a British official holding a red binder as he leaves a building. An associate walks in front of him to block the media. And when he walks behind this car, he emerges with a binder that is now green. Both binders have a distinctive gold seal on the front and appear to be the same one. The only explanation I have is that he handed his assistant the red binder in exchange for a green one, but that would take longer than a couple seconds behind the car to do so. I also don't see how this could be a camera glitch. There is still no official explanation for this from the news station or British officials. So how do you think this unsolved mystery happened? Number 3. A YouTuber named You Want Sun catches an eerie moment on live TV when this news anchor has a problem unlike any I've seen. She sounds normal the entire time, but she starts blinking excessively, followed by this. Uh, ...is reporting a record turnout at this point. Nevada and Nebraska are also showing that Democrats are getting a jump on early voting. In Washington, I'm Susan Roberts. Ron and Mary... Pause, Susan... pause. <laughs> I've seen videos where both eyes change into a creepy off color before, but I've never seen a video where one eye stays the same and one eye does whatever this is. Also, they cut away from her as soon as it happens, which makes Yuat's son wonder what exactly happened here. I think it's possible, but I'm not sure, so I'd like to get your thoughts. Was this a glitch or something way worse? Number 2. There's one thing I bet this weather woman forgot to mention in today's live forecast. Something you'll never be able to guess. Let's have, oh my gosh, that was creepy. Oh, of course he had to be right on my head. Oh, I just don't like that. Spiders. 
One has begun its web across the camera used for green screen footage. And now it looks like a giant because of an accidental close-up shot. The timing and placement are perfect as it scares her for a second time and then sneakily crawls away during the fade out. Believe it or not, this isn't the only time something like this has happened. Watch this part and tell me if he gets more scared than she did. But it's the prolonged dry spell and now we're going to continue with the dry spell and get the real heat. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa! This time a spider runs down, touches a news anchor three times in rapid succession, his screams becoming more surprised each time, and then it runs away. In reality, it's just weaving a web, but it's a crazy coincidence how it seems to crawl towards his head and then down his shirt. I've got a challenge for you. Since you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next five seconds? Because I upload four new scary videos every week. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. Number 1. A news reporter is broadcasting live from the beach when she's approached by the Grim Reaper itself. Okay, it's more like a guy dressed wearing a cheesy Grim Reaper costume, plastic scythe and all. But at least he has a scary message to share. The reason why he's walking around dressed as the Grim Reaper is to remind all of the beachgoers that they should probably be staying inside right now, which I do understand what he's talking about. I just wanted to know if you think how he delivered this message is funny or in bad taste. I do see his point and agree that staying home is a good idea. On the other hand, it's kind of ironic that he goes out in public just to tell people to stay home, so he might still be susceptible to the very scenario that he's trying to prevent. These videos are some of the scariest on the internet in my opinion, so I made this mashup. Let me know how far you make it before you're too scared to continue.